Next, let's discuss lungs. Lungs. And uh, of course, next uh, couple minutes we will talk about lungs. But please keep in mind, please keep in mind that uh, we will talk about smooth muscle, uh, smooth muscles, smooth muscles uh, in the lungs. Yeah. Uh, so smooth muscles in the bronchalveolar tree, in the bronchalveolar tree. So we have. Bronchi and we have lungs. What kind of receptors we have uh, in the lungs? In the lungs, we have two types of receptors M3 receptors and beta 2 uh, adrenergic receptors. M3 cholinergic receptors and beta 2 adrenergic receptors. Please don't think that right lung has M3 receptors only and uh, left lung uh, has beta 2 adrenergic receptors only. Both of them present in uh, each lung just to uh, split, to separate uh, parasympathetic and sympathetic uh, nervous system and uh, for better understanding. For better understanding. So, Activation of activation of uh, M3 cholinergic receptors causes bronchoconstriction. Bronchoconstriction. Uh, what kind uh, of uh, drugs we have? We have metacholine that uses a uh, for for bronchoprovocation test and uh, we have uh, acetylcholine esterase uh, inhibitors through the uh, like arivastigmine uh, physastigmine denepezil and the uh, other one so activation of m3 receptors causes bronchoconstriction why bronchoconstriction because uh, on smooth muscle cells we have m3 receptors and uh, activation of them causes um, contraction of uh, smooth muscles and causes bronchoconstriction. Also, we should keep in mind that M3 receptors present uh, in, uh, in the glands and uh, activation of M3 receptors also increases secretion of bronchial glands. Increases secretion. Blockade of M3 receptors causes bronchodilation. Bronchodilation. Uh, what kind of medications? Let's say atropine. As a prototypic agent, and uh, let's say um, ipratropium and tiatropium bromides, and also blockade of M3 receptors uh, inhibits secretion. Inhibits secretion. What about? So this was about parasympathetic nervous system. What about sympathetic nervous system? In, in sympathetic nervous system, blockade, mm, blockade of beta-2 adrenergic receptors causes bronchoconstriction. Bronchoconstriction. Uh, when we have blockade of beta-2 adrenergic receptors, in case of administration, beta blockers. And uh, really, of course, uh, selective beta blockers like uh, metoprolol, they are preferred yeah, in patients with bronchial asthma, let's say, but their selectivity is relative, and in, in case if dosage rises, they also able you know, to block beta-2 adrenergic receptors, even if they selective. Uh, so let's say propranolol here. Propranolol. And uh, stimulation of beta-2 adrenergic receptors causes bronchodilation. Bronchodilation. Uh, stimulation with uh, beta-2 agonists. And these drugs were very useful for, uh, for control, for prevention of uh, bronchial asthma uh, attacks. Yeah. So what kind of medications? Let's say atenolol, oh, sorry, albuterol. Albuterol and uh, salmeterol. So that's it uh, about, um, about lungs.